Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. I just wanted to kind of do a little video where I touch base with you guys, give you some updates with the TCM, with the TCM. <laughs> um, sip some coffee with you. This is like my breakfast. I just got done filming um, some client readings. I have one more spooky reading left to film, but I'm waiting for, for that client to email me. So other than that, I'm all caught up. I'm excited. Um, but anyways, some updates with Cackling Moon. So we are now in the month of November and all of my spooky readings are now gone. They are not going to be available till October 2019. Um, but if you do want to book a reading with me, you can totally book an intuitive tarot session. This is what I call them. Um, and I had a lot of people asking me like, is that the same as a tarot reading? What is the difference? And an intuitive tarot session is, it is a tarot reading, but it's also an intuitive or a channeled reading at the same time. I noticed that my reading style has started to change um, the further I went with my, um, with just my spiritual path, my psychic abilities and whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm really, really, I love the cards. I love reading with the cards. I probably will never stop. But I am starting to tap into more intuitive reading, which is just literally channeling messages of the individual. Um, so basically, it's you. I connect with you energetically, which is a total thing. It's if you don't believe me, then look at all my other video readings. <laughs> um, and anything that I hear, see, feel about that person or their guides that come through, oftentimes they come through, I will um, reiterate that to you in a reading. It just so happens that I'm also pulling cards. So I wanted to kind of give that a its own title. Um, I didn't wanna just call it a tarot reading because I feel like too many people that see tarot reading, they just think I'm pulling for the future, which is definitely not the only thing that I do. Um, I do read for the future. Yes, um, I will do those kind of readings. Do predictions come up? Yes, sometimes they do. But I don't want to be labeled as a fortune teller. Um, I want you guys to know that my readings are all about guidance. It's all about your inner self, your inner work. It's all about you. Um, and it's all about giving you a... Um, just kind of like something to think about, something to consider when it comes to yourself and your own personal growth. And I just want you to be able to connect with yourself on a deeper level. Now, people who have trouble with doing that, whether you can't meditate or you don't know how to or you don't want to put in the work to it, some people are just not interested in learning about their psychic abilities or learning about their spirit guides. And that's okay. Some people just don't, they don't want to but they still wanna have that experience. That's why you come to readers because we give you that experience. We will shine light on all of that stuff that maybe you don't see or, or experience and, we, and we'll allow you to have that experience through us, okay? So basically that's like, that's probably the best way I can describe the kind of work that I do. Um, and, and, and me as a reader, because I, I feel like too many times when, when you put the label of a tarot reader, we get that nasty, um, just that, that idea of us being fortune tellers and nothing wrong with that, but I don't want to be looked at as that's all I do. I, I, I want you to know that there's, my readings go deeper than that. My sessions, especially my in-person sessions are, um, almost therapeutic. Okay. My sessions with my clients in person are, so in depth, there are tears that are shed, there are awakenings that happen, there are realizations, there's past stuff coming up. Sometimes past loved ones will come through in a reading. It's like there is no limitation to that. And I just want I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like too many times um the, the, the term tarot reader just gets a bad vibe. And I wanted to switch up the the title of my readings for that reason because I wanted to, I want to attract the kind of clients that are gonna appreciate the kind of readings that I do. So if you see intuitive tarot session, yes, it is a tarot reading, but you're also receiving channeled messages. You are receiving insights that are literally from, um, you know, a psychic, psychic, intuitive perspective, okay? It's not just, I'm not just pulling cards and reading guidebook 
meanings to you. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's more than that. Um, so I just thought that I would share that with you guys and let you know. Um, other things with Cackling Moon, let me think. Um, I'm still in that weird phase right now with my living situation. My husband and I are house hunting. Hopefully we'll get a house, you know, in the next few months. It just depends on what is meant to be, what the universe wants to give us at that time. But in the, in the meanwhile, <laughs> the living situation is difficult. So as you guys know, I'm very limited with when I can film um, because I do live with people who um, are very conservative. Because of that, um, I only film when they're not home and sometimes they are never not home. <laughs> Um, so there's only, there's like a few openings that I know for a fact that they will not be home, which is my prime time, like right now when I film. So that's when I do all of my video orders and whatnot. If I have to, if push comes to shove, I will actually relocate myself to like the, the library or somewhere else where I can film, um, just to get stuff done because I can't, I don't like to have work pile up. So it just depends, but I just wanted to let you guys know that Keckling Moon is still what it is. I make the most of it. I make the most of what I can. I prioritize my readings, my client readings, the paid readings, um, over anything else. So if you are a paid client and you pay for a reading, you will come first before free stuff that I do, before blog posts that I do, whatever. Um, you always come first. You are number one. So... Just know that eventually when I do have my own space, I do plan on doing lives. I do plan on having like little like interaction classes and whatnot, little workshops. All of these wonderful, amazing things that I want to do, but I just can't right now because the living situation doesn't allow me to. But I do make the most of it because this is my life. This is what I love to do. So I don't let anyone stop me from that. <laughs> um... What else? What else? What else? Um, talking about blogs, I actually was talking to one of my clients the other day and she does marketing stuff. So she was telling me, you know, you got to be doing more blogs. Like she was, I guess she was looking at my website and um, she was telling me I should be doing more blog posts so that I get more interaction. And because really my life, majority of, t of Cackling Moon is on Instagram. But I want to pull away from that. Like, I want to still be on Instagram a lot. But I also want my home base, like my headquarters of the Cackling Moon, which is my website. I want that to be number one. I want that to be the place that people go to when they want to see what's going on with TCM or an, a blog post or whatever. Updates, you know. I don't want it to. My, I don't want my headquarters to be Instagram. So, I'm going to really be working hard on coming up with blog posts for you guys um, to read or whatnot it's just a matter of getting me on a strict schedule to do that so because that was never a priority always my priority has been my readings um, I'm gonna try and break myself from <laughs> just prioritizing readings and also making time for a blog post you know at least once a week um, so I'm kind of try to do little subtle changes like that um, but other than that, you guys, there really isn't much else going on with TCM. It's just the same old, same old. Um, I have been thinking of updating my business cards. I'm actually down to like maybe 50 cards. I've been handing so many out. Um, I hand them out when I'm out in public at just different times if I feel called to. I hand them out mostly in my client sessions, which I've actually been... Um, booking more in-person sessions and so it's really nice because I get to meet these amazing people and I get referrals and stuff so I'm always handing out my cards and um, I think I need to I think it's time I update the look of it so I might be working on that um, coming up with some new services to put in the shop if you guys have any ideas of services that you would like to see, please let me know. Like, send me an email. Tell me what you're thinking, what you would like to see something of. If there's a, if there's a service that you that you would like to have, but maybe I don't I don't have it. You know, give me an idea. And and if it's something that I feel like feel comfortable doing, I will totally take that into consideration. Um. But until then, you know, it is what it is. So I just thought I would pop in here real fast so you guys could have face. <laughs> we could have some face time together because I know the majority of my readings, the majority of my videos are video readings. And um, like I said, I do unlist some of them. So you're not seeing all of them that I put out. Um, I only pop out 
a couple of them at a time because I don't want to drown my YouTube account with video readings. Um, but if you notice that there's like a video reading that pops up and then like maybe a week later it's gone, it's because I unlist them. I don't want my channel to be just video readings. I want to eventually be able to put more content out. But all of that stuff will come with once I change my living situation. So until then, it is what it is. And um, thank you guys for watching and subscribing and loving and supporting me. And um, I will talk to you guys soon.